We'll start by setting this equation equal to 1. Subtract x from both sides and divide by 4 to the x. Of course, we can rewrite this with properties of exponents so we don't have to deal with fractions. We're trying to build up to a repetition. We already have a minus x out front of the 4 and in the exponent. Let's also try to replicate that to 60 in the exponent. We'll do that by multiplying both sides by 4 to the power of 260. Apply properties of exponents, and we're getting very close to an interesting repetition. Thing is, we're not going for this base 4, we want base e. So let's insert one. We can always apply properties of logarithms. Once we insert that e to the ln, we can use another property to drop the exponent down. And we're only one move away from the repetition that we want. We're going for something times e to the something. Those somethings match. The only thing we're missing is a natural log 4 on both sides. Let's multiply by it. And you may feel like we've made things much more complicated. In some sense, you'd be correct. But the point is to use an old friend of this channel, the W Lambert function. This is the inverse function to x e to the x, although it's not just x in this case, it's 260 minus x times natural log 4. Meaning that when we apply w to both sides of this equation, everything on the right reduces to just that repetition, just that 260 minus x times natural log 4. And we've essentially reduced this crazy exponential problem to a linear problem. We can certainly isolate x by dividing by natural log 4, subtracting by 260, and multiplying by a negative, and you'd think that'd be it. In fact, this is an exact solution, but we can actually do better. Keeping in mind what w is, the inverse of x e to the x, maybe we can rewrite what's on the inside and be a little bit clever. We're going to split up that 4 to the 260. Split it up into 4 to the 256 times 4 to the 4th. Why do this? It's all the repetition. Notice that 4 to the 4th power is 256. And I can insert another e to the ln, dropping the power down front. And wouldn't you know it, we actually have the form once again that we're looking for. Something times e to that same thing. In this case, natural log 4 times 256 times e to natural log 4, 256. Meaning that the w function applied to this cancels out. We just get the input 256 times natural log 4. And we can cancel the natural log 4s, taking the difference to get 4. You may also be wondering where does this w function even come from? I'll tell you more about it in this video. I'll see you in that one.